how old were you and your siblings when the Khmer Rouge began? Mom, uh, 10, yeah, so when I'm 5, Lawan's about 3, and Tawarat about uh, 3 years old, and Tawarat just born. What was it like before the Khmer Rouge? Before the Khmer Rouge, uh, Vietnam War. Well, so Vietnam we was uh, no, because the uh, American they blew the planes and they dropped the bomb. We don't see about much that they dropped the bomb in the uh, Vietnam village. When so uh, when we heard the uh, the plane, we always go on the ground. We always skate that time. And after Vietnamese war finished and the Khmer last time the Khmer Rouge come in, like they control people and they come in. They said the. Uh, Oh, they come to help. That's the the, the war, the arms or whatever. They come to help you or whatever. Put the gun down, and after they put the gun down and everything like that, and they catch those people. Like yeah, they hang them. Why? Who are who are the people? The people like the uh, the soldier, the good side, and the commanders come and then they said they talk to them nicely. Then they put the gun and everything down, and later on they catch them and they handcuff them like that and the people were very happy said oh uh, the war is the end we we gonna happy whatever and so it's not it's uh, wrong What was the kind of food that you would eat? It's like to only have rice and salt. That's it. That's what I had. And uh, the food, sometimes I have to cut myself like broth or something like that, small broth or rat and like a cricket or something like that. Anything you can eat, you can take and cook yourself and bring it and when the gongs, uh, they Lay the gong, the time come to eat, and every take the bowl and spoon and run. Do you have to work to get food? Yes, and not not so important. Something like uh, you dig, cut the uh, land, so make land, no reason. They want you to do it. And so you take land from there, they put here, look, make a road or something. But not exactly, exactly road, and once you make the pond, and so later on, they get killed people in that pond. And uh, sometimes, when um, you get killed yourself, you make the pond yourself. Were you ever separated from your family? They separate me, Lawan, me, and Nga. Mom, uh, she stayed in another different place because she a bit older, she hides, go to more work and we a bit small, less work. Like the uh, uh, strong people, old people that like strong go on the top and less and less and less and we more or less because if we're too young, not nothing to do. What they take the kids away? Take them away from the house and parent, yeah. So is it just a place where it's all kids? Yes, it might the whole like that long and we sleep all together like that. Like the 300 people like head to head fit to the uh, to the wall. Did you ever come back together? Yeah, we come back together and uh, once uh, Vietnamese come, come to help us and uh, we gonna run away and so uh, yeah we come back meet all together and we run away to different like yeah, the mountain go that side and so uh, this side to the Lisa and we come to this side and some people come that side they get killed and leave this side we not get killed. Is there any other time where you were separated? Yeah we separate again and once uh, we move from to go, go 
totally be stuck on the way and my mom sit that side, I'm sit this side, my mom sit that side and uh, like uh, the come we don't know the come will put the man across uh, like that and we this side we die and so uh, see that side see a life and so uh, she have to move it and Vietnam is and uh, cut the wall for the months and we can move on and we so right. And then uh, later on so uh, come will come much like uh, they go like this go people in the middle and some people go like separate like that and want to scrap us like that yeah and so uh, so come out come and we run back we run to turn lace up and they run behind us and we hit like that hit people and some people cannot run they kill on the road and they grab and they cut the neck and hole like that and so at night time i said to my sister the mosquito like too too much mosquito and just said to sister can you uh stay and make the fun and i sleep tomorrow i carry uh your brother okay then the next day like i take uh my brother carry on my back i'm too tired can you help me to take him like we walk long way too tired and leave him behind like kilo I said, you gonna go back take your brother or not? He, she said, no. Are you gonna go back take your brother? She said, no. And then my brother said, like, not say anything like that. Not cry or whatever. He not say anything. And I have, okay, I have to come back to take him. We walk and we see the pond, big ponds and water and the dead people. And we met the people and we scoop the water or drink because we don't have water like two or three days. 1979, that's the end, so, the end day, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's uh, we know. That's but what how happened. did you know? We know because Vietnam come to help us. Yeah. Yeah, did the happened. Vietnamese tell you that it's over? Like, who said that it was over? So, oh, well, so everybody speak, uh, everybody spread everywhere. Or we can hear and they can uh, put, you know, all the radio. radio, yes. Being a child and growing up in this kind of civil war time, how has that affected you as an adult? In my house, always have a light that affect me. I don't like dog. When I see people eat with candle, oh romantic. I said, Dad, you stole people food eat. Do you wish to see justice come to those involved in the Khmer Rouge? Yeah, some people like very bad and they, they know it's kill a lot of people when so at the moment and uh, have left. I think forget it. In Khmer Rouge time, sometimes I think fair enough. No poor, no rich, nobody look down somebody. And we go to work, come back, we have food. That's it. We don't worry about anything. We have food, we go to work, come back, have food, eat, go to sleep. Tomorrow, go back to work again. And at the moment or now or whatever, we have to find the food and everybody get jealous, everybody and and uh, rich, poor. But at that time, nobody poor, nobody rich, nobody look down somebody. Oh, you low class, I'm high class, I'm good than you, I'm better than you. No. Send the world. <laughs> Mật dương ơi dương non kia tỏ su tỏ su chiêm cả hòm on đại thầy bùa dương ơi dương non kia tỏ